Hey man, you wanna put on some muscle man? Yeah, you do. Well guess what? You at the right YouTube channel. I'm gonna help you put on some, some rock hard muscle. What's up everybody? I'm gonna talk to y'all today about Shut that. up, man! I that's my part of the videos. I say what we're gonna talk about. Well you supposed to say what's up everybody? I did. did that. Today, we're going to talk about the most overrated exercise for your chest. It might be the most overrated exercise ever. Yeah. When you talk about anything, it's chest flies. What do you like to call them? I call them bitch flies. Yeah. Well, you know why people like that exercise? Because he saw, well, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's like, you know, in bodybuilding, he's got like one of the best chests ever, so to speak. They seen this motherfucker doing these damn bitch flies with these cables. So everybody think, hey, man. He had that great chest, man. It's got to be causing them goddamn bitch flies. But you know, we've never did any kind of cable flies, uh, dumbbell flies, chest flies. This feels this fucking shit. ridiculous, man. I mean, you ain't going to build no strength like that unless you want to just, you know, be able to grab a motherfucker and squeeze him to death like a fucking, <laughs> like a damn boa constrictor. Yeah, you're going to build that type of strength. But as far as lifting strength, Look here, look here. Squeezing strength. You're going to be able to squeeze the fuck out well, of this. Well, it's more of a shaping exercise, but... Yeah. I mean, I think you're far more effective. Incline, dumbbell bench press. And do the incline bench press or flat bench press either with a barbell or a dumbbell. Yeah. Oh, right. well, if you don't believe me, you can take two newbies, right? Two people that never worked out before, right? Yeah. You can take that newbie, right? Take one of the newbies. Say, okay, you're going to do six sets of, uh, you're going to do three sets of incline dumbbell bench press and you're going to do three sets flat dumbbell bench press, right? And then you take this one fucker over here, he's going to do uh, three sets of uh, inclined dumbbell flies and three sets of uh, flat dumbbell flies, right? Who you think will have the, the best chest? If they got the same genetics, same body type, same everything, right? Everything is equal. Everything is equal. Same supplementation, everything. That's fucker with the uh, dumbbell doing the, you know, the compound movements. It's going to have a better... He's going to have a lot better results. He's yeah, going to be stronger. He's going to be bigger, too, overall, because he's working. When you do that pressing movement, you're working your shoulders, your triceps, your chest. You know, you pretty much working your whole upper body. When you're doing bitch flies, you're just building up big-ass, huge tits. I just think it's a waste of time, period, Yeah. to do isolation movements, period. I mean, sometimes you'll see me doing some tricep extensions just to burn out my triceps, but I'm just doing, like, one set or a couple sets just, just to burn that fucking muscle out. You know, get a pump in it. Pretty yeah. much is all I'm doing. That's all like, I don't think the movement's going to do is a pump. Yeah, I mean, there, I mean, there's, I mean, what we're saying is probably controversial to a lot of people. But we've never did chest flies. I've tried them. You know, I'm like, man, I hate this movement. This movement sucks ass. I'll just stick with my pressing movement. And I would say my, my chest is one of my best attributes of my physique. You know? But, um... I think it's, I just think it's a waste of time, man. Bitch flies. I mean, uh, chest flies. Yeah. Hey, man. Some people swear by them. But that's just our opinion, though. I mean, some people do a bunch of pressing movements and then they'll throw some chest flies in there. Won't you just double up on your pressing moves? I bet you'll yeah. get... <laughs> I mean, you're doing the same amount of uh, movements, same number of exercises. Just replace those chest flies with more uh, pressing moves with chest. I think you'll get a lot better results that way. So long as you're not in the gym a fucking hour and a half, two Yeah, hours and a person doing them damn bitch flies all day, man, their triceps is going to be non-existent. Non-existent. Yeah. Like this one cat on here was talking mad shit about us and our channel. Who are you, bro? I got to see some poles. I got to see some flex. Who are you guys to be telling, giving other people advice? I'm the same motherfucker just like you are. I'm just a regular Joe who's been working out, seen some results, been that, done that. So I got advice to share. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, like, that dude was talking shit on us. Biggest thing on him is his ego and his biceps. His triceps are non-existent. Yeah, They're his not his chest. Even his chest is the smallest thing on his body. A person's chest should sit out on their physique. On your you physique. Know? That's the first thing you should see. Somebody with a muscular bodybuilding type physique, their chest should sit out. Yeah. I got that. And y'all gonna see that on my three-year transformation video. But, yeah, we think chest flies is overrated. Yeah, man. I think it's a waste of time, but, hey. Bitch flies. Man. It's just advice, fellas. That's, That's what all they are, man. Bitch flies, man. They, it's just advice, fellas. That's all it is, man. You don't have to follow it. You can listen to Jimmy Fellas up the street, man. He do all kinds of damn chest flies each and every day. You can do whatever the fuck 
you wanna do? Punch twins, bitches.